how to configure a kitchen printer on your Clover Flex. First, you're gonna log in into your Clover Flex and you're going to look for the printer's app. Once you're here in the printer's app, you're going to press this plus sign that is here. Then the machine is gonna ask you if you're looking to add a receipt printer or an order printer. If you're trying to add a kitchen printer onto your system, you're gonna go ahead and press where it says order printer. Here, you're gonna be able to see the printers. If you have more than one printer, they're all gonna be here. Um, if you don't see it right away, press this refresh button until you see it. If your kitchen printer comes up or it doesn't come up at all, it could be that the printer doesn't have internet. So in a perfect world, you'll be able to see the printer with the IP address. So to conduct some of the configuration, you're gonna go ahead and press the printer. In this case, I'm going to delete it so I can teach you how to add it. Come and add it, press order printer. I select the printer. And now you're gonna see the receipt printer and the order printer. If you want to manage the configuration of the order printer itself, you're gonna press it here and you can, for example, send a test print. You'll be able to hear it. Other things that you'll be able to do, oh, that's an end on my system. Um, other things that you'll be able to do is configure what this printer is and what it does. If you have two different printers and you have one, your pizzeria, and you have one for the pizza, and you have another one for the kitchen, you would select which one this is. Let's say in this example that I'm setting up the kitchen printer. So I can also change the name to kitchen printer. That way it's easy to recognize when I'm managing the system. If you would like to watch any more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me any comments below with any videos you would like to watch in the future.